Hey guys, this is Melody and today we're doing an abstract painting, which isn't really something that I ever do, so this is new for me. You may have heard, if you've been watching my vlogs, that I'm trying to fill this entire sketchbook that's in my hand with sketches of hands. And I've done some that are really loose and just kind of squiggly and fun to get me to kind of loosen up and not trying to pay attention to every tiny detail. So I kind of like this sketch that I did, and I recently saw someone doing um, abstract art on a YouTube channel. If I can remember the channel or re-find it, I'll try to link it somewhere. And I was just kind of inspired to do something. And also with this whole like isolation or social distancing or whatever we're calling it right now, uh, I've been at home a lot because I've been working from home and that means that I don't have a commute which also means that I'm at home for an extra hour or so every day. So I just, I've had a little extra time and I thought, hey, why not do a painting? I've also maybe mentioned, I don't know, that acrylics aren't my primary medium. They're not something I'm very familiar with. So I thought maybe doing something like this would be a good way to start trying to get into it because it's pretty loose. I can just feel how the paint's reacting. And I did use a couple different brands of paint in this painting and I think you can actually kind of tell. Now that the painting has dried, the black lines, which is the cheaper paint that I used, is really really shiny. And the other part is like it's somewhat shiny but not super shiny but also the black is kind of mixed in with all the other colors. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with this happening at all. I don't really know what it should look like because again I'm not super familiar with acrylics but it is something I noticed. For the most part I used Winsor & Newton acrylics and also some Liquitex. The kind of teal color was the Liquitex and so was the gold. Every other color other than the black was Winsor & Newton and the black was some brand that I got from Michaels. It was like the cheapest one you could find. If you're wondering, the paper is Strathmore watercolor paper. I have an 18 by 24 pad of paper and then I cut it with an X-Acto knife. I'm actually not completely sure what the size of this paper is. I wasn't trying to be careful. This isn't something that I necessarily expect to sell or do anything like that with. It was just something to kind of have fun with and just kind of throw some paint at a piece of paper because why not? You know, I think my brain kind of starts to do this when I'm stuck and I have extra time. It just gives me things to do and this is what happened. So I hope to be doing some more similar things but with different colors. I really want to do like a magenta, yellow, orangey, blue something. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.